I was just talking about my next door neighbour, Jimmy Cooper, great piano player. He just died recently, and I was talking about him on the Gimme a B thing. And Jimmy was the man who tuned me first guitar and got me my first gig with Rose Tynan. And I used to listen to him like through the wall. I'd be you know, next door. I'd be sitting on the floor in the hall listening to him. And he played all these great things like uh, you know he sort of fat domino. <laughs> That sort of thing. I found my trailer. Goodbye, Joe. You gotta go hard. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. You want you know, all of that. But uh, on the Fisborough Road, there was bands everywhere. There was Jimmy next door with the Blue Shadows. Then up a bit, the late Matt Leach and uh, Sandy Jones of the Royal Olympics. Then across the road, Mick Kinsley, Betty Allen, the Tea Beats. And Jack McGinn lived in the same house and he played uh, piano. He was on Danny Doyle's Whiskey on a Sunday. He was a session man, a lovely player too. Then up the top of Monk's Place, there was uh, Tommy Quinn and the Quintets, then in St. Peter's Church. The memories were still in the choir, Dara and Mick and Jim. And then there was the Tornadoes with Jerry Hughes and Des Moore and Louis Crow. And then up in the Cubs, like my club master hours were uh, Joe Tittle and Tony Bogan who found the members of the Miami show band. Look the top monks place, Tommy Quinn and the Quintets. But Jimmy Cooper next door, he was the one that really got me going. I, I'd, I'd listen to him all the time. Like if when I was walking past his house, if he was playing, I'd listen to him. He could you know, he was doing everything from Jerry Lee to say Fat Stommy now or Ray Charles even so for all the boys here I'm gonna here's his way it choose the sound of it like this. Thank you.